Hi everybody, James Backall with JB Commercial Finance on Thursday the 11th of June 2020. A couple of brief updates with regard to the various loan schemes. Um, total across the government loan schemes, that's the free loan schemes, the bounce back loan, the Sybil's loan scheme and that large corona business um, loan scheme. It is now just a shade under 35 billion quid lent across these three schemes. Phenomenal amount of liquidity pumped into the marketplace. And to put that into um, numbers terms, that is about 850,000 odd UK businesses who have been supported by one of these three schemes. Now, a majority of those are under the bounce back loan scheme, as we know, which is the sub £50,000 loan scheme. And that has been an astonishing, um, it's been an astonishing success when it comes to getting money out there. We'll see over the next two, three years if it's been an astonishing success with regard to helping businesses survive and also with regard to how the, the potential cost of the taxpayer. Um, if some of these loans start to go wrong. But certainly first impressions are that an awful lot of money has gone out there, which was the purpose of the scheme, which is good. What I also want to talk about briefly is the Sybil's loan scheme. New lenders are continuing to be added to the panel. For those of you who aren't familiar, the Sybil's loan scheme, the Corona Business Loan Interruption, Corona Business Interruption Loan Scheme, is the scheme which covers £50,000 upwards, up to £5 million, albeit that's now been increased. But a majority of cases are around about the sort of £500 to £1 million mark. So businesses that are too big have got too big a requirement for the bounce back loan scheme. Um, that scheme has been mired in controversy really since it started and that's the reasons for the bounce back loan scheme coming out was because the Sybil loan scheme has effectively been a bit of a failure. But there are new lenders being added all the time and I actually personally think that the Sybil loan scheme will probably outlast the bounce back loan scheme which is due to finish on the 4th of November. I think Sybil's will be here to stay for a little bit longer because of the complexity involved and I think businesses will realise they still need capital after six nine months and this will be a way for them to access it so i think there'll be opportunities there especially as a lot of new lenders have come onto the panel and some have launched their platform and a couple of them have um, sort of revealed their platform in the last week or so and it looks on the face of it very attractive they may have left it a little bit too late i've been saying that for a couple of weeks now that i think almost the, the horse has bolted um but some of the rates are attractive, some of them aren't quite as low as the bounce back loan, but we expected that because of the complexity involved and there are certain caveats that lenders are putting on there. But if you are a business who's been turned down for the Sybil's loan, or if you are a business who realises they need more than the bounce back loan is, is offering at this moment in time, or you just need some additional working capital in your business, it's actually not a bad time to look at the Sybil's loan scheme because there will be likely opportunities there with one of the alternative lenders outside the high street banks. So if you've got any questions about this, please comment below or get in touch with myself, James at JB Commercial Finance. Contact details are all on, um, on YouTube and I'll be happy to talk anything through. All right, thanks guys, bye.